Hey friends, it's Courtney. Today I have a very difficult video to make. Um, you haven't seen me for about a week and I'm sorry about that, but last week Phaedra, my standard poodle, passed and it's been very hard on me. Um, as you know, like in August she was diagnosed with doggy dementia and we had just gotten medication for her for that and had just realized that her mental state had deteriorated enough that she could no longer be left out like alone if we weren't home she needed to be created because she kept getting into stuff and um she got into something that we have no idea what but we rushed her to the emergency vet and did x-rays and all of that stuff and spent like six hundred dollars to try to figure out what's going on and they realized that she had a block and so they kept her overnight and they had her on IVs and everything to try to give her the best chance of success once we realized that the blockage that she had in her, um, she had a blockage between her big intestine and little intestine, whatever it was, but through her big intestine had issues, but not her little intestine. And so, um, they kept her overnight at the emergency bed, they were great, and had her on the IVs and all of that stuff to try to give her as good a shape as possible to be able to survive the surgery. And, um, I picked her up at like, I think it was 6.30 the following, that, that morning, I take a trip to the emergency bed at like 8 o'clock at night. And um, I took her to my bed, and when my bed office, office opened, the uh, younger of the two uh, veterinarians were there, and she said that, you know, it was her, her dad's day off leave. But she called him to get a recommendation on a surgeon because I didn't want, uh, I'll explain Nick's in a second, <laughs> because I didn't want, um, to have anybody but her dad do surgery at Phaedra because he'd been her vet since she was, a, you know, a puppy since 10 weeks old. And so when she called him for a recommendation, he just said he would come in on his day off to do surgery on her, and I cried because I was just so grateful that he'd be willing to do that. And he, they, they treated us like family, which I really appreciate. Um, so Phaedra had surgery that, that morning, which was, I think it was Wednesday morning. It was Wednesday morning. And around 12, she came out of the surgery, so Dave and I went up to go see her. And that was the last time I saw her alive, and I didn't know it was going to be. She was still unconscious, not really awake after the surgery, so Dave and I went up just to see her and love on her, and I brought my jacket to her, so she'd have something that smelled like me to lay down on, or to have like around her while she was resting. And um, they said they were going to monitor her and see if she needed to go back to the emergency vet for overnight observation or if she could come home because they weren't sure yet and she hadn't come out of the sedation. The surgery was successful. She didn't have um, damage to her intestines, which is what they were concerned about. And so they um, they told me they wanted me and Dave to get there at 4 o'clock to pick Phaedra up and, and see whether or not she needed to go to the emergency vet or not. So Dave and I were planning to get there at 1. And at about 3 o'clock, um, the vet tech dean called me to say that I should go ahead and head there because Phaedra wasn't really, um, you know, was not really doing that well, so she would definitely need to go to the, uh, the emergency vet place for the overnight care. It's okay, no problem. And so we were wrapping up like a work call from 3 to 3.15 and then went to the vet place. And my vet's place is about 40 minutes from my house now. It used to be closer, but since I moved, it's, it's a little farther. But I, he's the only vet I go to. I've been going in since 2004. And so by the time we got there, um, and I didn't, we didn't know this, but Phaedra had passed maybe two minutes before. When we got there, the vet tech was just crying, like could not talk about, like at all. So I knew at that moment that it was bad, something bad had happened. And she was like, I'm so sorry, she's gone. And I, I didn't know what to do other than hug her and say it was okay. And then I started crying, and then Dave was crying. So, like, the three of us were just kind of standing there crying. Um, I guess around 3.20 or whatever. Oh, yeah, right, right after we got off the work call and we had to head there, I, I, before we left, I told Dave, I said, I have this horrible feeling. It's the same feeling I had um, the day we took Max and that we had to put Max to sleep. And... I was like, this is not good. I have a really bad feeling. And so we got there. So when I saw the vet tech crying, like it all fell into place. And um, I guess like around that same time I had the bad feeling, like maybe around 3, 23, 25, Phaedra's breathing started getting really labored. So Dee had called the vet and the vet was walking her through different things to do and he was heading back up there to check on her. And he got up there about five minutes after we did and just, she was gone. Um, and that was really, it's been really traumatic for me. 
Um, I brought my jacket and her collar home and let Nick sniff them. And Nick's have been depressed ever since. Um, Nick's had hurt her foot, by the way. That's why she's wearing the cone of shame and a sock on her left front foot because she hurt her foot like a week ago when I took her into the vet. They gave her medication for that. The medication didn't help because I guess they gave her a pain pill because they thought maybe it was a sprain. They couldn't, like, they can't find anything physically wrong with her. So um, I took her back on Monday this week and they looked at her foot and she's got like basically a secondary injury on her foot from looking at too much for my, like she was looking at her foot because it was bothering her and then she gave herself dermatitis from it. So I have to like get it to heal up before I can take this off and then she should be fine. But it's just, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I've been a mess. I, I'm not okay. I will be okay. I'm, I've run through a million and one things in my head. Like, you know, I did everything for Paige that I could. Like, this whole expenditure was like $3,000. <laughs> that, you know, I, I tried everything I possibly could to save her life. I, mean, I know that I did everything I could, but it's just heartbreaking that she's gone. She, you know, she was only 12. And if I try to look at it from some other perspectives, the things that I can think of, well, at least I didn't have to see her deteriorate from the dementia like we did with uh, Max, Dave's dog. And I didn't have to make the decision to put her to sleep because she just kind of chose that, that that just kind of happened. So I didn't have to watch her suffer. I didn't have to watch her decline very much. So it really, it had only been like that literally the day before when we were like, yeah, she needs to be under supervision 100% of the time. So either created or with one of us. But it's, it's hard. And yeah, I know some of you will be like, it's just a dog or whatever, but she was like my child. And since I will most likely never have human children, my dogs are my children. And it's just, it's hard thinking about the fact that, well, she's gone. A friend of mine, in fact, um, was celebrating her daughter's 12th birthday. And all I can think of is... Last year I lost my mom, this year I lost my kid. <laughs> so yeah, um, and, and this is October. This is my favorite time of year, and right now it's just really hard to get in the mood for the season, but I'm trying. Um, so yeah, I'm, this is my rambly update. Just this is what's going on with me. And if you um, you know are curious about stuff like this, I Basically, the Fear Index Facebook group is the first to know this shit, so that or Instagram stories sometimes, but usually Fear Index Facebook group is where I, I talk about all of my super personal stuff, so if you're interested in more stuff like that, that's where you go to look. Um, yeah, I'll try to have another Halloween tutorial for you soon, but thank you for your understanding. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you later.